Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using a new stamp set from the Spring and Summer catalogue and this is Forever and Always. And today I'll be using the two flowers. I'm also using Textured Essential and I'm going to be using that image there. I'm also using a retired set, Label Me Bold, just for the happy birthday. And I'm also using Forever Fern for a leaf, for them two leaves. That one and that one. I've got a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, with folded in half and scored. I've also got a piece of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the inside, although I won't be doing the inside because I haven't done one on here yet. And I don't know what I'm going to stamp in the middle, if anything. A strip for the happy birthday. I have a piece of uh it's a new card. Magenta Madness at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and a piece of white card at three and three quarters by five and a half and that's what we'll be stamping on. So let's get our card pieces together. I'll be using Magenta Madness, Old Olive and Blushing Bride my three colours for today. So let's get started. I've already got some masks as we'll be using masks for the flowers and I have got my three cut out and well stamped over. So with the big flower we're going to stamp that right in the middle. Well, that didn't stamp very well in the middle. Let's do it again. That's better. And then we'll pop a mask over it. We'll do little ones and these I'm putting at an angle just like that there pop a mask over that and we're going to do one this side at an angle and press hard where the mask is and pop a mask on that. That's us finish with that. Ugh. Now with the old olive. Oh no, not with old olive. Brushing bride. And our uh, textured essential stamp. We're going to add some texture to the background before we add the leaves. So what we want to do is just go round and over the flowers, obviously sticking out at the top and sides like that. There. 
like that. And that's all that is, is just to give us some text ooh, texture under the leaves. Right, now with old olive. And the bigger leaf, leaf, leaves, because there's more than one. I'm going to put one face in that corner. One face in that corner. And then two down here. Like that. Then with the smaller leaf, I'm putting one here. One here. One at the top. Or two at the top, should I say. Like that. Remove our... Oh no, look, I forgot one in the middle here. Got one on the bottom. One just there. Like that. Move them. Oh no, I've got green on on my card. Let's see if we can remove it. That's better. Must have smudged it. Right. Two box away. Right now with the magenta madness, we're going to put some spots round a card. And these are just the spots out of the Forever Fern. And I'm just putting them all around the outside, even going on the leaves. Like that. Oh, neat that. What do you reckon? I think it looks quite nice. And now for the sentiment with Magenta Madness, we're just going to cut or cut stamp my happy birthday and then we'll cut that out. Close this up in case I stick my finger in it. Try not to put my fingers too close to the ink. What I'm doing is just cutting this down so we've just got a little tiny white border. And that was 
sit on there like that. All we've got to do now is stick this card together. This on our card base. And this is going to go up on dimensionals. I'm using up my edges. to stick that just there not putting gems or anything like that on it I think don't think it needs it and that is that card done I'll get both of them in like that yeah Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll hopefully be notified of any more cards that I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.